All right, before painting the teeth or, you know, antes de pintar los dientes, I'm going to try something. Being that these lips are widely open, I'm thinking maybe uh, I could probably make a mold and make these teeth into a, a dental acrylic. So they would be kind of like veneers, if you will, and we can just push them in. Uh, so we'll see if that, that will work. Um, ya que está bastante abierta la, la boca, vamos a ver si podemos hacer unos dientes donde se le pueden nada más poner encima. All right, so we're using alginate. Estamos usando alginate. No sé cómo se llama en español. This one says Cavex Color Change. So we'll see. Uh, this one's a fast set. I prefer extra fast, but this is all I can find. Este es este, se, se seca rápido, pero hay otro que es extra rápido. Prefiero el otro, pero no lo tengo. So we're going to mix the about half of this and half of water, uh, maybe less water because I want it nice and thick. Uh, se mezcla partes iguales, agua y polvo, pero creo que lo va a hacer un poco menos con agua para que esté bastante uh, Normally, you would put the alginate over it and support it with uh, plaster bandages. Normalmente se pone esto y luego sobre de eso se hace como un casco con el este uh, soporte eh, con uh, cintas de yeso. But I want to avoid that, so I'm going to make it thick, so hopefully that will just keep its shape. All right, so I made it nice and thick. Lo hice bastante grueso. And you want to wet your fingers and you want to push it in, making sure you get all the detail. Lo estoy apachurrando con los dedos mojados para que agarre el detalle. Now that it's dry, yeah, there we go. Ahí lo sacamos. And there you have them. Aquí está. Right here, we're just adding the plaster, which is Ultra Cal 30. Aquí nomás estamos poniendo el yeso. A little stick there so I can pull it up para detenerlo después. So once it's dry, ya que está seco, just take the alginate off. So I'm just putting some Vaseline. Estoy poniendo un poquito de Vaseline so the clay can stick on there para que la plastilina este se pegue. And you just go over the original teeth. Se pone la plastilina sobre los dientes originales. And you want to go as thin as possible. Okay, I'm going to mold these now. Uh, well, I kind of mold it, but I'm going to take this lip off because there's a little undercut in here and I want to make sure I get the uh, a good uh, mold of the teeth. Voy a quitarle este labio para obtener un molde bien de los dientes. So I'm using alginate, tosando alginate. Uh, you can use silicone only if you needed to do more castings. Pueden usar silicone solamente si iban a hacer muchos más dientes, but it's not necessary in my case. No es necesario para mí. All right, it's dry already. So we get rid of the clay. Yeah, vamos a quitarle la plastilina. Okay, so I put Vaseline on this guy here, and we need to do this before this starts drying up. Uh, tenemos que hacer, puse Vaseline aquí. Tenemos que hacer esto antes de que esto se empiece a secar de más, because this will eventually shrink, and we, you don't want that. And we are going to use, vamos a utilizar, this jet liquid and the powder for the teeth, shade 65. I'm just going to eyeball it. I don't know why I said it. I should be using gloves. I should be using gloves. I should be using gloves. And I am putting more than what I need, but that's okay. I'm still putting more than no necesito tanto, pero just to make sure. You know, as you can see, it's already starting to, you know, harden up. Como pueden ver, ya se está secando. So 
what I'm going to do at this point, I'm just going to take the uh, this part off the uh, cup. All right, it's about 12 minutes. Here we go. Gotta be careful here. There we go. So they're right here. All right. I'll start grinding all this down. All right. Vamos a ver qué tal. All right, we're going to start grinding areas. Vamos a ir lijando until they fit in there. There we go. Ahí están. So I'm going to glue these here. And since they're a, a little bit thicker, ya que está un poquito más gruesitos, I'm just going to add some putty to create a little bit of gums over them to make it look more natural. Voy a ponerle uh, pasta para después de pegarlos para que se vean más naturales que salen de la, de la ansía. I'm just using 5 minute epoxy. Nada más voy a usar el 5 minutos, el pegamento de 5 minutos. All right, guys, so here we are. There are the teeth. I added some uh, epoxy to give them a nice shine. Le, le puse epoxy para que brillen bonito. Okay, now these eyes are pretty hard to get right. Estos ojos están muy difícil de, de, de hacerlos correctos because the sculpt here is bulging out. I don't know if the camera captures it. It's bulging out this way. Está muy como chichita. So it doesn't allow you to really make a nice round eyeball. So I'm going to grind this down. Así que voy a lijarlos. So I'm just going to use the, the epoxy sculpt. Voy a usar la pasta de epoxy. All right, so we'll, we'll let that dry and then we'll paint the eyeballs. Vamos a dejar que se sequen y luego ya los pintaremos. Okay, to shine up the eyes, I'm using the same stuff I used for the teeth. Para brillar los ojos, estoy usando lo mismo que usé para uh, los dientes. And that's the 5-minute uh, epoxy. And you mix equal amounts, partes iguales. But you want to add a tint of purple. Okay, Necesitan ponerle un poquito de tinte morado. That's so it doesn't turn yellow with time. Para que no se ponga amarillo con el tiempo. There we go. Has a little tint of purple, un poquito de tinta de morado, and we just brush it on. And it's the same stuff I use for the to shine up the nails. Y lo mismo uso para brillar las uñas. Okay, a little scary here. Un poquito de miedo aquí. The client wants him secured completely, and all in one piece. El cliente lo quiere en un solo pedazo, así que let's do this. All right, so after primering the base, después de uh, poner el primer, uh, we're doing it some uh, gray paint. Vamos a poner el pensando con pintura gris. actually adding just a little hint of brown down here being that it's kind of like maybe maybe a little mixture of dirt un poquito de, de café para que se vea como algo de tierra I'm gonna dry brush a little bit of off-white un poquito de blanco así como seco okay so after uh, Painting them black, después de pintarlo negro, and glossy, y luego bien brilloso. I'm just going to test this out. Um, voy a sprayarlo de cromo. I'm going to spray him chrome. And I'm just going to see what happens. 
y vamos a ver qué pasa. Oh, and I'm using Mirror Chrome. Okay, we buff them out. Don't have anything soft, so I'm using my shirt. No tengo nada suavecito, así que estoy usando mi camisa para pulirlo un poquito. All right, so I'm gonna try this thing that says Candy Gold. Now, I did try this in other things and it sucks. Ya calé esto y realmente vale madres. Um, but let's just get an idea, see what happens. Uh, so as you can see, uh, the color doesn't look that great. Como ven, no se ve tan bien el color. So what I'm gonna do is use some uh, FW uh, metallic gold. We'll usar este FW oro metálico. A ver qué pasa. We'll see what we get. Okay, so I'm curious, estoy curioso. I'm just gonna go ahead and gloss them up just to get an idea of what it looks like. Uh, para ver cómo se va a ver. Same thing, triple thick gloss glaze. All right, pretty cool, not bad. And we'll go on with some more details. Uh, de luego, este, cuando se seque, regresamos con más detalles. Okay, we're going in with uh, some red, un poco de rojo. I'm gonna try this guy, see what happens. Vamos a empezar con esto, a ver qué pasa. Alright, I'm just going to add some shading in certain areas. Voy a hacerle ciertas sombras en ciertas áreas. Uh, make it look, you know, messed up. Hacerlo que se vea un poco jodido. Alright guys, so here he is. Aquí está. With his acrylic teeth, con sus dientes acrílicos. Let's add a little bit of light here. All right, guys. Well, till next time. Hasta la próxima. Hope you learned something.